Hello everyone, this is Dice, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use the brush tool, but we're going to make a paintbrush. I'm going to teach you guys how to make cloud paintbrushes. Um, the first thing I would do is make sure that your foreground and background colors are black and white. The important thing with brushes that I probably didn't mention in my other tutorial is that mainly because like if you do a paintbrush in like yellow yellow is a very light color and so when you save that paintbrush it's that because it will ch it changes the color paintbrushes are essentially stamping the image that you saved in a different color and if you have yellow and let's say you use blue or black if you use black to stamp that paintbrush back down, it's going to be a very light gray instead of black as you wanted it to be. And it's just, you don't get as much detail. So if you use the darkest color black and the lightest color white, you get the most value in that because all paintbrushes are monochromatic unless you change them otherwise when you stamp them and go with filters and stuff like that. But regardless of that, um, this is what... I have right now. This is an 800 by 800 thing, but I'm going to go through the steps to show you guys how to make these. And you'll notice you have to try and keep this, like the shape, like it's got to be faded, jagged, nothing can be the same. But you'll notice I have three different layers here and they all look different except for these two. But file, new, 800 by 800, hit OK. We're going to create a new layer. We go to Filter. You can see I already used it here. Um, render Clouds. Now we're going to right click on it. Duplicate Layer. It doesn't matter what you call it. I'll call it Clouds too. This layer is going to go on Color Dodge. So I want to soften that up a little bit. So I'm going to create a new layer. Hit Control F. And you'll notice this gives me the same thing. We're going to go to Overlay. You see the difference? It kind of it adds more to it. makes more depth. And of course you can always soften it up more by doing this. Um, one thing you you should probably realize is that all this white area when you use a brush is going to come up transparent. It won't, you won't see it. It's only going to take any value that's not white, which is why we have this white color over here too, because white, it, it, it will only take up this shape. So I'm going to hit control zero to make it fit the screen. And you'll notice too that none of these will ever look the same you'll never get the same thing with the filter because the filter is very random. Um, there's also difference clouds you could use too which just inverts the selection with your complementary color. Like if I have green and white clouds it's going to turn into pink and white clouds or pink and black clouds. So I'm going to actually use this one because I like how this one turned out better. It's really all what you want it to look like. I mean you can't really get it perfect but I'm going to take this. I have it on feathered. You don't have to do that. And we're just going to select. I used feathered mainly because in case it gets any of their edges, you know how these ones have straight edges up here, if I want to use those. Clouds are not defined. They they fade in and out. and You have to kind of take that into consideration when making a one like this. So I offset that by feathering it so that if I have anything that gets into it, it will fade just right back out so it won't look like it has this jagged edge and force me to use that brush on another edge so it doesn't look funny. So we're going to go to Edit, Define Brush. I'm just going to call this O2. And you'll see this is what it looks like. You'll notice that all the white areas around it have become transparent. And 252 is its width. Hit OK. I'm going to turn off these layers, create a new one, just to test the brush that I made. So I'm going to go to the paintbrush tool. It should end up at the very end of it. And you'll notice now I have this cloud. So 
So if I want to continue making more, and you don't have to, you can just do it with this too, if you want really dark clouds too. Um, so I'll go up here. Edit. And we'll try out this one too. And now we have more clouds. You can overlap them if you want to. But I will this see it changes like if I change this to blue you notice it the black colors are where it's the darkest now what if I was to do what I said earlier not to do and use a very light color for it now what would happen if instead of using black as my darkest color I used yellow as stated earlier um, first we're gonna so we're gonna hit control F and we get this and I'm going to hit I'm going to duplicate the layer and I'm going to go to color dodge and we're going to do this control F overlay now now you see there's very very little detail in it compared to my other one so We'll create a paintbrush. Edit. Define brush. I don't really care because I'm not going to use this brush over again. And you'll understand exactly why. Now this is, I'll change it to a darker color. This is the brush that I made with black and white. That is the brush that I made with yellow. And you'll have to constantly keep doing this and it still does not match the amount of detail here. This looks more like smoke in the distance that would be coming out of a chimney versus here's the cloud. So that's something you can do too and I mean you can always lighten it too if you want lighter clouds but you get the point. Yellow or any other colors are bad you should probably try and use black and white and that's really what I'm trying to stress in this video because clouds are very detailed and have a bunch of different ranges of black and grays and and whites so I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I hope you guys enjoy your cloud brushes and I guess that's it bye bye